Hi guys, today we are going to be reviewing the Okmo G1000 Portable Power Station. It's an emergency power supply for home, outdoors or travel. We live here in the Midwest on a homestead and in certain weather conditions, high winds or the extreme cold, inside, yeah. The Okmo or Okmo power station. All you can hear, um, I don't know if you can hear it, is basically the cooling fan as it switches on. Is that you can charge it using a solar panel. It does take longer to charge fully using a solar panel and that's because the energy from the sun is not as consistent as that compared to when you plug it into the wall. Being able to run things like a sterilizer or to boil water quickly using a kettle or even to blow up mattresses, um, the inflatable mattresses without having to drag them over to the car. I wish that we would have had one of these say 10 years ago. G2000 on my freezer before I started losing bars. I went 24 hours on my G2000, a solid 24, and only one bar got lost. Now the Oakmo 1000 is a little bit different in the story because we're talking 1000 watts difference here, but I got a total of 23 hours and it went down to two bars. Freezer in. And then what happens is when you plug it in, you have to hit this AC output button and you can see that it's charging my small Thompson freezer. I wanted to see if this Oakmo can handle it and how long it could handle. So in this next clip you can see my son. My grandmother, she used this oxygen machine right here. Um, for somebody with stage four cancer, lung cancer, or any other related health issues where you need oxygen and the power is out, this power brake. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Oakmo 1000 watt battery bank. Now this is a pretty expensive battery bank coming in just under, eight. see it just shut off right now. You literally have to start all over again to turn the refrigerator back on. The only complaint I have with the Oakmo um, power station is that it doesn't have um, a uh, readout to show me what I'm getting in. However, I did test it on my meter and I am pulling in right now about 75 watts off that. So not bad at all. So let's plug it in. Let me move the camera down and we'll try it out. All right, so here we go. Anderson power poles in there. Nice and easy. It should light up. There we go. We have one. Started with the review. I thought I'd share with you. Uh, Okmo just reached out to me and uh, in an effort to help those uh, who went through Hurricane Ida and anyone who has a potential to go through any of these disasters uh, are offering for this week only. So we're talking about uh, Labor Day, 9-6, all the way through the rest of the week. Uh, a $300 coupon off of the 1000 watt and also the 2000 watt power stations. They do have solar panels. They're offering $40 coupon for that. And then for our Osmo, we will plug that in. And that is charging. So let's go ahead and plug in our fan. We'll turn on our AC. Fans kicked here on the side. So uh, let's see what else we got going here. Drawing about 10.76 amps. And our bolts are about 110. All right, so the coffee pot has heated up yes. and we're to have the AC adapter in for our cooler and uh, have my 12 volt supply. We're plugged into the cooler and hooked into our AC and currently we are drawing about 33 watts. Drawing about four bars on this uh, power station. So this test was pretty good, surprised me. I figured uh, once it powered up, this wasn't going to be able to handle it and shut off, but wow, I'm impressed. Hey, I have my Akbo portable power pack, 1000 watts, fully charged. It took about five hours to fully charge it, so it's good to have a full charge on it. I'm going to demonstrate it today. I'm going to cook chicken and broccoli in a slow cooker. I have it back here on the side of that. Look, we still have two bars there. 
and I saw it would go up to three. Even when it was on four, it would go to five, and four and five, you know, back and forth. I'm gonna get the chicken out, I'm gonna look at it. You gonna have some? Oh yeah. Oh look, can you see in there? Probably not, right? Oh, it smells so good. I didn't open it all day. It does smell good. Broccoli looks a little toasty, I don't know. It looks good, I love it. Great, creamy. Before I jump into that, let's talk about those juicy specs. The Okmo G1000 is a 1000 watt portable power station and it provides capacity of up to 1110 watt hours. That's 30,000 milliamp hours. And they claim, of course, depending on your usage, it can provide you with up to two to three days of power supply in the case of sudden emergency outages. Now this device actually works fantastic for charging mobile devices, things like tablets, your phones, etc. It has a very high power DC out to quick charge any of your mobile devices that support higher wattage charging. Depending on the coffee machine, you can run things like coffee machine, charge drones, mini projectors, mini refrigerators, etc. It has flexible charging options. You can plug it into the wall, you can plug it into your car, you can plug it into a solar panel. Solar panel, it's very, very nice. I mean, nice crystal clear solars, it's, it's very sturdy, it's easy to carry around, super lightweight, and overall I really like it. And that usually incorporates me taking things like heat guns or you know space heaters, things like that, things that draw a lot of power and require constant power, and they could really overload a battery fairly quickly. I'm not peak a little bit, like 1100 watts or something like that at one point, very briefly, but overall it doesn't really like to peak above that. But the whole self-regulation thing, again, I think it's a nice thing. I think it's a nice feature, keeps your battery safe, keeps your home safe, you don't want to catch on fire, that's a huge deal, you know, especially if you have to go to the hospital and you die. 200 watts, theoretical maximum off of solar power, but the charger that they send you with AC plug has a maximum output of 117 watts, which means that if you use this, plug into your wall, which should ultimately be the fastest charging possibility, you're gonna be able to charge this from zero to 100 in roughly around 10 hours. To me, I feel like that's two very big things against this that really makes it less usable. Just because it charges slow, if you're running something during the day, like a refrigerator or two to keep your beer cold, and you want to be able to charge up your battery and have battery left over during the night. For things like camp lights, bug zappers, etc you need something that charges faster. You need something that when the sun goes down, this thing is going to be as close to, if not 100% and ready for the night. And my first impressions were, holy bananas, it looks really nice. It's got the nice rugged feel look. It's just, I like it. 